Blockbuster is closed. Kmart is closed. Sears is closed. Radio Shack is closed. Toys R Us is closed. The largest transportation provider in the U.S. doesn't own a single car. Uber. The largest movie provider in the world doesn't own a single movie theater. Netflix. The largest hotel provider in the world doesn't own a single hotel. Airbnb. The largest retailer in the world doesn't own a single store. Amazon. If you haven't realized by now that you can run a home-based business without having your own product or service, here's your sign. Okay, we got another reaction video this week. Okay, I watched this. You know, we sometimes when you're bored, you're lazy, I should say, you're scrolling down YouTube and this popped up. And I was like, I gotta react to this video. Do you just hear what she just said? I did a, a, a video, uh, if you haven't watched it yet, where I talked about lessons from a failed business, um, from, a fail, from failed business, and I had this quote on the opening of that video, and it says, the internet enables eight billion monopolies. Did you just hear what this message from this lady, uh, she just said? Amazon, Uber, Airbnb, and Netflix, all these companies, they started without a freaking product. It was basically service-based. They started without a product. And did you hear the, the businesses that she, she mentioned? Do you know how huge these companies were? Do you know how huge Blockbuster was? Okay, uh, this is probably showing my age, of course, but I remember those Friday nights. It wasn't Netflix and chill. It was go to Blockbuster, pick a movie <laughs> through the aisle, and then go home and watch that movie. You know, Kmart was a huge business. You know, movie theaters, we all remember, I re uh, well, at least I shouldn't say we all remember. I should say, I remember everybody, in, at least my age group, we had our first days at the movie theater. There was that movie theater, it was like five bucks back then, but these things are closed. If you are somebody that uh, is still in the process of thinking about getting into business by yourself, if you're still slaved by just thinking the only way for you to make money is working for somebody, maybe this video can empower you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you another quote. There's a quote by Warren Buffett that really touched me, especially when I was getting into business. You know, when you're getting into business, you need so much fuel, because it's, it's really fearful. Elon Musk also says that, you know, starting a business, being an entrepreneur, is like eating glass and staring at the abyss. That's how it is, because you, it's a huge risk taking that you're jumping into. You know, you're putting your time, uh, you're putting your passion, you're putting your heart, uh, you're putting your soul into your business. So it's a big risk taken, but it pays off big. I'm gonna give you another quote. Warren Buffett also says, as it pertains to what we're talking about here, Warren Buffett also says that you need to figure out how to make money while you sleep or you're gonna work until you die. We live in a world right now that you need to be able to make money in order to survive, which is kind of a scary thought if you think about it. In order for you to survive in this time and world we're living right now, you have to be able to make money, to be a productive citizen, as they call it. But really, it's to be a productive, you know, to be a slave. You have to participate in the economy. Let me give it to you uh, in, in that perspective. You have to be able to participate in the economy. Now, um, there's a few different ways you can choose to participate. You can trade your time for money, or you can own your own, you can own a service-based business, or you can sell a product-based business. I'm here to talk about how the internet changed the game. The internet has changed the game where it switched, literally any business out there can be switched into a service-based business. When we're talking about what Uber does, Uber, the, the whole concept, how it started, they never owned cars. Let's talk about how Netflix started. When Netflix started, they never, they never owned movies. They went and licensed a lot of these movies. Airbnb never owned hotels. They never owned buildings. They saw a need that they can serve into and they've turned this service-based industry into an internet app that makes millions now. And another thing that, you know, which is a, a crazy fact is these companies were all started with credit cards. And a lot of people don't realize that. So uh, why am I bringing this up? You know, bringing this up to, again, as I said, empower you to know that, especially through the power of the internet, anything is possible as far as the dreams and every ambition that you're trying to do. You know, I remember myself when I was getting into the industry, you know, this is in 2011 after I had my first son. And now I have a mouth to feed. You know, I always say those days of me, myself, and I was over when I saw my son. Because this is somebody, you know, I woke up the next day um, and it's like, oh, you, you're here. You know, this, this person is going to be here forever. We got to, I got to feed this. You know, excuse me, you know. But it, it was just a crazy realization. I always say this as well. As a man, we don't really know the child is there because the pregnancy is just so long. It's a whole nine months. The woman has this 
time to establish that relationship with the child. You know, the baby's kicking and this and that is happening. But us, at least for me, I can speak for myself and say that it didn't really occur to me the reality and the magnitude of the situation until my son was born. And then it was like, oh, okay. This guy's gonna be here every day. I kept on hearing this cries, <laughs> you know, in the middle of the night. Oh, man, you know, cause you sometimes you go to sleep and you get woken up with a cry and you're like, oh, oh yeah, that, the baby. <laughs> You know, so when I started my business, it was it was scary. My business, if I can speak about that in uh, in itself, is I don't have the money. What I do is I offer a service where I understand exactly what the lenders are looking for. I'm a business loan broker, just like a travel agency. You know, you can buy your own tickets, but a travel agency. It enhances the experience of travel. Uh, just like Uber, I mean, you, you can really drive yourself, but sometimes maybe you don't want to drive. So again, what, what I did was, I saw this different lenders offer different products, have different underwriting stat, stand uh, guidelines that serve different niches. And business owners, there's a variety of diff business owners with the different states, with different business types. You know, I remember how difficult it was for me to find funding for people with short-term rentals as Airbnb because this wasn't just a thing in the industry that the, uh, the real estate lending industry knew about, about these short-term rentals. Rentals were always long-term. What are you talking about, uh, Airbnb? What the hell that is? You know, what is that? So eventually they become lenders, uh, they became lenders that understood that business model and now specifically focused on that. But as a broker, I'm somebody that studies the market and when that lender pops up, I was able to really make a killing with offering these funding solutions to my client. You know, whenever COVID happens, there was a lot of, majority of banks stopped lending. Nobody knew what the heck was going on in this world. There's never been a time when the world shut down. Done. Nothing was moving. There was nobody on the road. It was a scary time. We're gonna be talking to our grandchildren about this if you went through that experience. And it, it became very challenging for business owners, you know, restaurants, service-based industries, tanning salons, uh, gyms. They still had bills. To pay and i came in and i was able to offer a solution for all of these people you know through the government and offer them funding options you know through the different options that were available out there with sba eidl and, and the different things that the government was doing but most of these people did not know this until we were able to actually reach out to them and educate them about all these different you know funding plans and it's all through the power of the internet this i'm trying to tie all this in together while i was trying to have you watch this video you know to get started and to also empower to let you know that if you're looking if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking to jump into whatever industry that you're looking to jump into you need to go ahead and capitalize on this thing called the internet also me jumping into this industry and, and this this will happen with whatever industry that you're in uh once you stop trading your time for money i usually say you know, once you start actually generating money yourself, it really changes your relationship that you have with money. Money is fake. Money is something that another man, it's, it's a piece of freaking paper. It doesn't, it has no value other than the value that we, we give it. Why is this important? I've seen, I'm originally from Kenya in East Africa. I saw my parents literally slave themselves because of this thing called money. We moved to this country because of money. Majority of immigrants moved to America because of money, chasing the mighty dollar. Jumping into the lending industry immediately after high school helped me really understand the different facets of the financing industry. It helped me understand different lending products. It let me understand kind of even also human psychology. Uh, when you study the markets, you know, I'm also a player. I dib and dab a little bit with crypto and I, you know, I look at a lot of graphs and so it, it helped me truly understand that. And also, I, I wanna say for every single, every man out there, and I know that might sound sexist, but every single man out there must understand money. You must understand how money works. You must understand it affects every aspect of our life. It really is, it's very important. And we sometimes are pushing this world without really a lack, uh, without a lack of understanding how money works. And we end up being slaves, literally. Modern slavery is real. But, but anyway, I know I'm talking about a lot of, um, different things and it, it leads me to this and the reason why i started also doing um you know these videos the reason i started my own business you know in addition to me being financially independent was to also leave a legacy was to also be able to create a path for my kids i have three boys i don't want them to be caught up in this financial trap that i've seen a lot of people get caught up in i also realized at one point that when you trade your time for money, when you go to work and you put in those eight hours and then you go back home and, and you literally, the most valuable thing we have is our time. 
and you put in those eight hours and you trade it for twenty dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars whatever it is and you don't get any of that back because once you spend that money it's gone you're literally your life you trade it for a piece of paper that you're gonna spend right back into the financial system and it's gone but when you're building a business you know then sometimes you don't make money every single week or every day but when you're building something you know and even if it's an internet business because my business is all on the internet it's a website and I have a database but when you're building something you can see it there's so many different experiences that you go through and you have something that is real that has value that whatever time that you put into that whatever eight hours you put into that you can still rip, rip the profits and the benefits of that in financial terms in knowledge terms in experience term later on in life forever <laughs> I know we're kind of getting deep as we're getting into this uh, so I, I'm gonna just kind of end this I'm gonna, I'm gonna replay this just one more time seriously you listen know. close Blockbuster is closed Kmart is closed Sears is closed Radio Shack is closed Toys R Us is closed the largest transportation who would have thought who would have thought Toys R Us Kmart no movie theaters who would have thought this would have happened you know, just really think about this. And then now, the listen US. to this. This, this, is, this is just crazy and, and it boggles my mind. Doesn't own a single car. Uber. The largest movie provider in the world doesn't own a single movie theater. Netflix. The largest hotel provider in the world doesn't own a single hotel. Airbnb. The largest retailer in the world doesn't own a single store. Amazon. If you haven't realized by now that you can run a home. If you haven't realized by now that you can run a home based business without even having a product, you need to wake up. The message was very clear. Uh, and I'll end this with a, as well. The internet enables 8 billion monopolies, regardless of whatever it is that you're passionate about, about what you want to do. You're able to do it with the power of the internet. And that's one thing that is amazing about this country. Anything that you're passionate about, you can make money through the internet. Literally anything. Does not matter what it is. I've seen people sell farts online. Okay. Okay. I've seen people sell some of the most strangest things ever, but there's a market for it. Okay. So, um, I'll end with this. Of course, this, this video is brought to you by Broker Solutions Academy. And what I do is I help small business owners um, get access to capital. And what we do as well is I help business and loan brokers understand and simplify the various funding products that are available in the marketplace so they can properly serve their clients, stop the endless confusion and self-defeating pointless rat race they're currently in, and grow their business while maximizing profits by teaching them how to be a real business loan broker, not just a glorified referral partner. That's what we do and we have a course that we teach people how to get into the business lending industry uh, where you can serve this trillion dollar industry. You heard what I said right. I didn't say million, I didn't say billion, I say trillion dollar industry. Serve business owners that are looking for access to capital in order to expand their businesses, uh, in order to start their businesses, in order to grow their businesses. We've been doing it for years with uh, Pennington Consulting Group, which is our uh, business arm. That's where we work directly with business owners you can look up some of the reviews online uh, but we're on a new mission now which is also to spread our knowledge all the different things that we've learned over the years uh, we've combined it into a nice course a very comprehensive course that teaches you step by step how to get into the business lending industry there's going to be a link in the description we're going to be launching this course in may of 2023 if you've watched this video after may of 2023 i really still appreciate it smash the like button smash the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video